never thought he'd end up with someone like Linda. What's that supposed to mean? I always thought you'd get yourself a nice little English girl. It's not necessarily an insult, you know. So what are you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying that I thought I knew you pretty well and I was surprised when you took up with this American girl and made her your wife, that's all. Maybe you didn't know me as well as you thought you did. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I didn't know myself so well either. It took me by surprise too. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. So don't go knock on her. Like you accepted Yoko with love and respect from day one. You were a royal asshole, mate. Oh, all right, now listen, John. Oh, no. no. Actually, I, I want to say this. You and a lot of me other so-called friends caused us a hell of a lot of grief back then. She was the one I chose to be with, man. Couldn't you see that? How could I miss it? Listen, John, we were partners since we were kids. Yeah? So? I wasn't a kid anymore. Neither was I. I'm not saying you shouldn't have been with her, but you brought her along with you everywhere you went. She had her bleeding bed brought into the recording studio, for God's sake. Look, Paul, when I met Yoko, everything changed. I couldn't care less about being in some little boys' club anymore, you know? Fine. If you couldn't deal with Yoko, you had no business dealing with me. Well, that's just it. Where were you? You bloody disappeared. All of a sudden, everything's John and Yoko. Where's John? You turned your back on us, remember? Bloody right, I was mad at her. I was really mad at you. It was just easier to hate Yoko. Oh, come on, Paul. You just wanted the game to go on a little longer, that's all. With Beetle Paul at the controls, you know, getting all the A-sides to the singles. Made to feel special by all your society friends who thought yesterday was the greatest thing we ever did. Damn right I was getting all the A-sides, because who else was coming up with any decent competition? It sure as hell wasn't you. You were worried and that was a group decision. gold mine down, yeah, you know? Because you had more important things on your mind, remember? You needed me because you were afraid of being on your own. That everyone would finally see who was the real brains behind the Beatles. The real brain? Oh, that's a laugh. Obviously, I didn't need you. I'm doing quite well without you now, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. You and your silly love songs. Making cotton candy, man. Nobody takes you seriously anymore. Bloody hell. At least I'm working. Not sagging off, sitting all day, watching the telly in some ivory tower. Letting me life pass me by. You don't know. Screw you. You think I'd rather form myself a pop group? See me face on the cover of Rolling Stone? You know, sell out Madison Square Garden just to prove that I can still get it up. I've got a son to raise. If you want to waste your time singing nursery rhymes, trying to hold on to your fading youth, no skin off my teeth, mate. Look, John. I realize how much Yoko meant to you and still means to you. And I'm sorry for the way I treated her. But don't you understand what was happening? Enlighten me. That was a hard time for me when we were breaking up and I was trying to hold it all together and you were spending all your time with Yoko. I felt like I was losing my best mate. Who? Oh. You. any idea what it took? Do you have any idea why I'm here? I don't know. Why are you here? I mean, you come over uninvited, unannounced after God knows how many years, and I'm supposed to be happy to see you. 
This isn't Liverpool, pal. I don't want you dropping by like it's the good old days, got it? Fine. Then I'm off. Fine. What? 